Hello, viewers, YouTubers, and welcome to a fairly new segment on the Master of Hobbits. We kind of played around with it already, but it's beer and food, pairing beer and food. Uh, I did a burger from a Burger King with the Mickler beer that they did <laughs> earlier this year, and we've done the cooking of beer, but we have a, gr a lot of great local takeaway places in one month right now, doing a lot of takeaway with the whole lockdown, and today, the best burger in at least north of Jutland, but I think also Denmark mm. was there. Uh, as, as It's a food truck called Chuck Wagon, as you see by the title. And we're like, well, let's do this as a food and beer pairing episode. So we actually got the entire menu of Chuck Wagon. We got corn dogs, we got a chili dog, and we got the different burgers, which is a single burger, and then a the cheese burger, which is a burger with a grilled cheese in it, and a chili cheese burger as well. So a lot of different burgers. The beer in question is Bad Sea Brewing's Anus Mirabilis, which is a New England style double IPA with Equinox, Simcoe, and Amarillo, 7.5%, fair new release. Yep. And this is the burger. So this is crazy. We were in line for almost two, two hours. Mm. First in line for an hour, and then almost an hour for waiting for the food. There are so many people. He's never experienced it before. So, you know, yeah. it better be good. But since it's, you know, apparently one of the best in Denmark, I think we should start with the regular one, the single. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, you, it's your half piece. Here's my half piece, yeah. So, cheers. So I'll have to do it this way. A lot of onion, my bite. That's a very good burger. And it's still warm. Mm -hmm. Give me warm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Bacon. Mm. There's some um, sweet, like, onion in there. There's an onion ring. I think also, is it a pickle or something? Pickle relish? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. It's very greasy. But it's exactly what I thought it'd be, I think, I guess. Like a super greasy, classic American burger. Soft bun. Perfect bun. Yeah, I think it's kind of like a brioche, maybe? Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's yeah. a potato roll. Mm. It's very, the, the texture of it is very good. Mm -hmm. So the beer, have you tried it yet? No, it's actually no, a very no. good New England IPA. It smells like super peachy and apricot -y. It is super Mango. stone fruity. Mm. Lots of trouble, mm. over, really over -rat. It's a perfect accompaniment, like a pairing or accompaniment to these burgers. Mm. And I think in general IPA and burger is yeah. great. IPA is very versatile for, versatile for food. Wow, this is a great. This, this is awesome. I think it's one of the best IPAs I've had from Freilich, actually. Yeah. It's really good. It's it doesn't so go super earthy like a no. Equinox often does. Okay, should we try the next one? The grilled cheese? One second. So this actually, this is a burger exactly the same as a single, but just with a slight, like grilled cheese in the middle too. Huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. And more onion. It's pretty much a more oniony and cheesy version. There's a sauce in it. I didn't get much sauce on the first bite of mine, but... And lots of butter. You can really taste that it's fried in butter. Mm. Loads of buttery flavor. Also the bun yeah. has butter in it. And it's real butter. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. That's really good. That's just, like, it's a really good bird. It reminds me of going to like in the States, going to fairs and stuff and mm. going to the like bur bur local burger joint stations at the fair. Mm. It's really good. What yeah. do you want to say? Like, it's just it's a funny idea with the <laughs> putting the a grilled cheese, cheese inside, inside. <laughs> but it works. Yeah. It's really tasty. Mm. But the one I'm most excited about actually trying mm -hmm. is this chili cheese burger. I just tasted a little bit of chili and it's it's hot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's I like that. It's and spicy. Mm -hmm. ah, spicy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That is awesome. That's yeah. definitely the best one. Mm. That is crazy good. That's like smothered in chili sauce. Mm. Like home cooked chili. Spicy, not super smoky chili, but it's got a nice kick. And, and then like similar burger vibes as the other ones. Like it's the onion. Also jalapeno, mm. I think. It has like a jalapeno thing to it. Yeah. Mm. I think there must be some kind of jalapeno, or at least 
bit of salsa, maybe kind of thing mm. too. It's, it has like a just like a slight Mexican touch to it. Next time he's here, when it's like warmer weather, I really want to go and eat it straight at the van. Like, so yeah, because we had to travel home first with all this stuff. You know, it'd be better there at the van. But I think so too. I really like that. Fries, the seasoning on the fries is quite nice. Mm -hmm. I really like that the chili is actually spicy. Yeah, because many times it when like it's just chili. like yeah, yeah, it tastes like chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like bell pepper. pepper. In, in in Denmark, often when people make it at home, it ends up tasting more like just kind of like a beef sauce thing because mm. they don't put any seasoning in it. It's not spicy. But there's some mighty fine burgers. Mm. Which one is your favorite? Probably also. I think the regular was actually very good. Yeah, I think the, the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the chili is my favorite, and then the regular, and then the. Mm. Yeah, the one with the. Grilled cheese. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I'm just gonna get some condiments for us whilst these guys eat their burger, and then we're gonna try some chili dog and corn dogs, and they've never had corn dogs. <laughs> we're gonna be a first. But man, mm. such a great food and beer pairing, too. Yeah, I could drink this can myself, no problem at all. It's amazing. Yeah. And 7.5%, I think, like compared to a lot of other double IPAs, it's a bit more sessionable. Yeah, but strength-wise, it fits the food very well. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, yeah, it's not too light, it's not too heavy. Okay, let's try the corn dog. So it's pretty much a corn batter, and then you fry it with a sausage in it, and you dip it in sauce. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's quite simple. It tastes like cornbread when I bake it, yeah. but around mm. the sausage. Yeah. But it tastes exactly like corn dog, it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. That's like pretty good. And it tastes a bit like bacon. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if there's part of like a bit of bacon fat or something in it too. Mm. Or maybe lard. Mm. Yeah, and again, butter. <laughs> so we got a deconstructed chili dog. <laughs> Let's just try it. It's got like smothered in fries and chili and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Isn't it basically the same as in the, I think the burger? Mm. Yeah, it's just with, you know, on a hot dog. Like yeah. Chili dogs are great. He makes yeah, a it's, mean it's, chili. Yeah. It's, yeah. This is very good. Oh, mm. it's got a kick. The chili's really got a kick. Mm. I like that. Well, this is classic American kind of mom and pop style yeah. food truck food, and I think this is the one of the only in Olboa like places that does it mom and pop style. It tastes mm. like going to like a mom and pop style diner or whatever in the states, having like homemade comfort food, mm. loads of butter and the flavor and everything. Like that's one of the big things I also associate with the, these mom and pop places <coughs> is loads of butter, mm. lard. Not healthy food at all, but it's pretty damn good. I can see why he won the the, the award. Hmm. But you know, it's 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 definitely the the best burgers I've had in, in North Northern Jutland. Yeah, some of the best I've had in a long time. Yeah, yeah, uh, that you can buy. Yeah, yeah. I think this is uh, for sure something you should check out. Mm -hmm. You can follow Chuck Wagon on Facebook and Instagram, mostly Facebook, where they announce where they'll be. Uh, Mark, who's behind it, he's traveling around doing all this stuff. Sometimes he's on his own, sometimes he's got help. Uh, and today he was pretty overwhelmed it seemed, with the line. There were so many people because he won this award. Mm -hmm. uh, but I hope he'll keep on trucking, producing some of these great, you know, American foods. Yeah, fast food, but really, really good. Well, not fast, slow, but greasy yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. Slow, it's slow, actually more slow fast food, if you could say like that. <laughs> yeah. It's just what you associate with fast food in Denmark, but it's really good. Pairs perfectly well with the IPA. I think this is actually one of the better IPAs for like Sunday in a long time. It's mm -hmm. around the, you know, early 90s, I'd say. And, and you know, the food, if we should do I more simple. I 93. Yeah, I think so, something like that. And the food, maybe keep it a bit more simple, but I think it's a solid nine out of 10. All of it, pretty much. Yeah. Re exactly what you know you'd expect from this kind of food. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably only like the, the grilled cheeseburger. Yeah, I think with that me, one, there's too, too much bread. Yeah, mm, yeah. exactly. But that's so. Just, but I think the the cheese, or the chili, and, and the regular burgers were kind of the leading into 10, 10, out, ten out of tens. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So 
But yeah, what do you think? I think you I mean, eat quick. Look at that. We're just the ones talking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that should just speak for itself. An yeah. empty plate. It's good. It's fine. It's great. Nine out of ten. Ten out of ten. Uh, Eight out of ten. Seven. It's not the six. best burger. And any of them are not the best burger I've ever had, but it's it's uh, it's up there. So maybe eight out of ten. Okay. Yeah. I'd say definitely nine because I think they're really fucking great. Yeah. But you know, best burger I've ever had. It's hard to say, but it's freaking good. Some of the best I've had in London Jetland, that's for sure. So mm. yeah, check out Chuck Wagon guys. I'll put the link for their uh, you know food truck down below, and also Bad Seed. Really, really nice this IPA if you want to check it out. So, hope you guys will enjoy this segment. We'll see what comes next. If we can put some suggestions where okay. you guys could see. We got some Mexican, you know, like we got burritos we could do, sushi, uh, Indian. Indian takeaways. There's a lot of great, you know, pho? Pho? yeah, pho. food. There's just one place now doing pho, but mm -hmm. there's a few. So, it depends on what you want to see. We'll do some more food pairings. So, thanks a ton for watching, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers and some delicious IPA <laughs> and food. And see yeah, you this guys. guy, he, he's down You're there. a beast. <laughs> and see Damn. you guys in another Green Food video. Cheers. Cheers.